Welcome to the Testing for Normality in SAS tutorial. On this tutorial, you will learn how to test the normality of residuals in a regression model. Now, in front of me, you can see that I already have in my editor uh, the regression code set up already to give me the regression equation as well as give me a normal probability plot. Now, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to run this code in order to look at my normal probability plot. From this, I see that I have relatively straight line, which makes me think that maybe the residuals are normally distributed, not too far deviated. I'm going to close this now. There's my regression output, giving my, my parameter estimate coefficients, and as well as testing in R squared. What I'm going to use is the output statement. And in a previous tutorial, you can learn about the output statement. So I'm going to use output, out equals, out demand. I'm going to put the residuals in one file, in the file, and put a semicolon at the end. Now that's going to give me another data set that has the residuals in it. Once I have those, I can use PROC univariate, take my new data set, the one out demand, and if I type normal up in the top and put a semicolon, this will give me a test for normality on it. I need to put the variable that I'm interested in, which is resid, those are the residuals, and I'm going to put run. Now, what this will do is this will give me several test for normality. Run this. All right, so here's my PROC univariate output. It gives me all of the items that PROC univariate normally does, as well as it gives me tests for normality. Tests for normality. And it gives four of them. It gives us Shapiro-Wilkes, Kolmogorov-Smirnov, Kramer-Von-Mises, and Anderson-Darling. Now, when choosing one of these, I tell people, choose the one that is most used in your discipline. Some disciplines, Anderson Darling is very used. Shapiro Wilkes might be used in a different discipline, Kolmogorov Smirnov, and yet another discipline. And the main thing to worry about is the p value. Now, notice that all of these p values are large. Okay? So since they're large, that means our assumption of normality is valid because the null hypothesis is, is that the residuals are normally distributed. This is testing to if the residuals are not normally distributed. Hence, we would not reject the null hypothesis. Hence, we would assume or our assumption that normal residuals uh, would be valid. Okay, This has been the Testing for Normality and Regression Models tutorial. If you have any other questions, please ask or watch this tutorial again.